All right, so we're gonna start today's vlog. We're starting a little different than usual. Usually we start the day early in the morning. We're starting this vlog at night. It's uh, 7.30 p.m. We've just went through a whole day of work. We're still grinding. The reason why we didn't film today was just super crazy at the shop. We're finishing up this car, we're finishing up that car, we're taking apart that car. There's like five cars sitting out there. So just a super crazy day. We don't get to film all day. Um, so we're just gonna try to pull in these cars. We might have a problem. We not be, might not be able to fit in here. So let's see what we can do. We did it, we got all the cars in. Um, I'll go over real quick, I'll let you guys know what's going on in here. This is kind of like what our every night routine is and it's probably a big reason why we need to get a new shop. Or just break down all that and just move our, our warehouse in there. You guys remember, we have our showroom, we have our lighting room, we have an office, another office, and we have our production room all over there. So in, in reality, if we needed more shop space, we could probably tear down that wall. But I think what we're gonna do is just get a new shop. So we'll keep you guys updated on that. Um, we'll run through the projects quick. I'll let you know what's going on. So we have the Mazda in. We're doing a splitter, custom splitter and a custom diffuser for this car. We have our Mustang that we did a while back. You guys seen this on video. Um, it's back in, he's getting his hood wrapped. So if you guys remember, he had a aftermarket hood before, decided he didn't want that hood anymore. Went back to stock. So we're gonna wrap the stock up for him. We have this one in. This car was done a year ago. So if you look at it, it still looks good. Everything looks real good. It was hit by a deer, so the car was repainted. Go back and watch the video. We talk about how this thing was hit by a deer, but the paint's finally cured, so it's time to wrap it. This car is going to SEMA, so it's gonna be a good project for us. We'll document the whole process. We have the Evo back over here. We did this one on video for you guys as well, so if you watch our videos and you're into Evos, go back and watch that video. This paint was totally pretty, just pretty much done. So what we did is we sanded the whole car down and wrapped it. It's done in the color shifting film. Looks really cool. He's back because he's getting some headlight modifications done. Two different grays. So this one's a lighter, more aluminum gray. This one's more of like a charcoal gray. GTR is almost done. Type R is done, just needs to get put back together. Front bumper was done today, rear bumper was done. We're gonna do a couple more pieces. We gotta put all the parts back on, but that one's almost done. And then we have the M4 in, that's the SEMA project. So full wrap on that one. We'll keep you guys updated, but we did it. We made it. Let's go home. See you guys later. What's up guys? Today's Tuesday. We're just uh, kind of getting the ball rolling here. If you saw last night, the shop was super packed. We, uh, we squeezed cars in. We had no, no space left. This one's actually finished. We just need to put it back together. The GTR is done. We're just waiting on the wheels. It feels like we're just waiting. You know, this is kind of the name of the game. Um, and sometimes this is where my stress comes from because this guy wants his car and that guy wants his car and this guy wants his car. But I'm waiting on everybody else. So let's just get into the day. We'll see where things go. Hopefully one or two of these will leave. Oh, we just had a Mercedes get dropped off. So I don't know how we're gonna fit it in here. If you saw last night, there's not any room in here. So I have to get rid of one car today, meaning that one of these projects has to get done in order to fit the uh, Mercedes project in. Basically the Mercedes came in, has a damaged hood. We're gonna replace the hood with a new OEM hood, and then we're gonna wrap it in gold chrome. So I'll show you guys the process of wrapping gold chrome. It's a little different than normal vinyl. But um, I'm excited to do that project. You know, we don't get too, too often people coming and actually paying and wanting to do, you know, chrome wraps because they're like three times the price of a normal wrap. So just to give you guys an example, average car wraps in our shop go from about 2,800 to about 3,200 to wrap the entire vehicle in chrome or in, in satin or gloss films. In chrome, you spend about 5,500 to do it. So definitely a big difference in price. In this case, we're just doing the hood. They wanted to wrap the hood and uh, see what it looks like before they commit to the full car. So let's get into it. Let's get this day going. Doing a pre-cut bumper lip overlay for the TC. We had this for the newer model and a lot of people have been coming in for the older model now asking for it. So we just created the pre-cut and we're testing it out now. Uh, we did a stripe job on this Mustang about a month ago. And she decided she wanted to add a little accent stripe on the outside of it. 
So basically what I'm doing is getting on alignment just to make sure everything's perfectly straight on the job. So I'm gonna line that up and without stretching, I have to line this material all the way forward. All right, if you guys remember, this hood or this car had an aftermarket hood on it and it had a very, very like, really big scoop or hood crow. What would you call that? What do they call those? Hood scoop. Hood, hood scoop. scoop. It had a really, really big one. It was a little exaggerated and the customer had just got it. It was an aftermarket hood. We ended up wrapping it and he decided he didn't like it. Thought the hood was too crazy. The fitment was a little off and uh, he went back to the OEM hood. So we have the OEM hood here today. We're just gonna wrap it in the color match film to the vehicle. So. Um, if you're wondering why the car's back, it's because we're wrapping. Where's he going? He's going to lunch. What the fuck? So, you guys, I think Anthony's a little sad. I don't know what his deal is. Comment below. Shoot him a nice comment because I think he needs it right now. We take lunch together as a family. We, we take lunch together as a family all the time. And today he decides, I don't want to take lunch with you guys. I'm just bounced out. And uh, yeah, drop a comment below. Say something nice to Anthony. He might need it right now. and I are going in on the fourth brake light on my car. This is the stock, and this is the, uh, the one supplied by Flyride. The difference between the two is, um, compared to the stock, this one has a, uh, a V in here which lights up. It comes with a, a brake light right there, and two new reverse lights. And they're way brighter. So we just installed the fourth brake light right here. Um, this is the old one, the stock one. So basically, uh, all that's uh, in here are two reverse lights, and that's all it has. So now with the new one, it comes with this V right here. That's your parking light, so we're gonna turn that on right now. So that whole V lights up. And then also in here, it comes with, uh, not only does it come with new uh, reverse lights, it comes with uh, a brake light right there as well. So right here, we're gonna turn on the reverse lights right now. There it is. And then we're gonna show you the uh, brake light as well, which is that right there. All right, so we're just gonna turn everything off. We'll show you what it looks like when the when the um, parking lights aren't on. So turn everything off. Okay, so here's the brake. And then the reverse lights. There it is. There you have it. Thanks to uh, Flyride for the uh, fourth brake light and uh, make sure you check these out on, the on their website. I'm showing up to the shop. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. There's just so much going on. Everybody's been kind of running around with their heads off, all different tasks, but everybody's holding it down. If you look out in the parking lot of the shop, there's just so many different projects going on throughout the whole place. So um, I'm looking at it, trying to figure out what, what I'm even looking at myself. But I know in here there's two projects going on. The guys have already started. These are our day-to-day -day ins and out kind of projects. Roof wraps, tail lights, headlights, all that good stuff. And then we have obviously our full wraps going on as well as some headlight modifications, some wheel powder coat, we're putting on a hood on the Mercedes back there. There's just so much stuff. So this is one of those days where, you know, there's people that say they want to have a business that you either you break, you survive, you make it through it, or you just collapse and you're done. And um, I might be done, I'm just gonna go lay down.
check it out. I'll show you. This is how it starts. I mean, a lot of people ask about our overlays. It's all it looks like. It's a pre-cut pattern, specifically designed for, in this case, it's going on the STI wing. So this goes over the top deck, but it starts here at the computer, goes over to the plotter. Now it's cut out and we're able to go ahead and install it. It doesn't look like much now, but let me get on the ground. Let me show you guys. There it is. So I had a couple questions. People say, hey, how do you get those patterns? Because obviously they want to sell them. You can't. I make all these. Everything that, that we sell are products that I've made. I go out, I design them on the vehicle, I put them in the computer, and now they become a part that we've designed. You know, a lot of times uh, what happens here is people will buy our overlays and they'll replicate them so they make bootlegs of our vinyls. Happens all the time, no big deal, but just just so you know, like all of ours, hand created by myself, designed by myself, confirmed fitment, we do everything. We do it from top to bottom, confirming that you're getting the right part. and. Um, I'm confident in the products we're putting out. I actually cut two. I always, I, whenever I'm going to install, I like to cut two just in case I need to install again. Whatever you know, I'm kind of a perfectionist, so I got to make it right. So sometimes it takes two times to do it. It's a new product. It was actually his idea. Have you ever seen that before? No, I saw another uh, another guy's car that looked exactly like mine. Okay. And I saw it and I was like, I asked him about it. it was like, he said it was vinyl, and I was like. Yeah. So the 11 through 14 has those side badges right there on the side. It's like a true plastic piece. And in this case, we just created a vinyl overlay that looks just like it. Yeah. And from this distance, it looks the same. Yeah, that looks real. So that's tight. Let's show them. We are taking off this old messed up hood. If you look up here, how bad it is. This isn't even the bulk of the damage. Somebody actually spray painted this hood and then they also attempted to do a repair job over there. So there's like just loads of Bondo and crack and just damage. New hood's right there. So we're gonna put the pretty hood on and then we're gonna wrap the nice hood instead of even attempting to mess with this one. We got a uh, Avery Chrome here. This stuff's super pricey. It's 100 bucks a yard, so that's our cost. And uh, to do this hood, we're spending about, it's about 200 and something worth of material, plus labor. Our labor on our, was charged at an hourly rate, so this is probably gonna be another two, 250 in labor. Chrome wrap is uh, something we get asked about a lot. People don't realize how expensive this is as opposed to normal material. So, just to give you a, a little insight on it, um, our normal hood wrap at our shop costs about 225 to 250 on average. This right here is gonna be a $550 project. That's how much more the material is, and that's how much harder the material is to work with. So if you're trying to wrap chrome at home and it's your first time, be advised, it's definitely not easy.
All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We are going to Vegas, so we're going to be out of the shop this weekend. So a lot of you guys do come by on Saturdays and Sundays, and uh, we're closed this weekend. We're going to be in Vegas. So if, you, uh, if you're in the Vegas area and you want to meet up, hit us up on Instagram. Let us know you're out there. We'd love to connect with you guys. In addition to that, we, uh, we have our buddy Sal. His car is somewhere outside. We're getting ready to wrap that for SEMA. But um, he's in a contest right now. It's a SEMA, SEMA Tuner Battlegrounds. I forget what it's called. But I'm going to link it up above. I want you guys to go vote for him. Get him some votes. Let's get his car on display at SEMA. He is going to be there right now, but I think he's fighting for a different position inside the show. So let's get him that spotlight. The car's car's super dope. He's a good guy, and uh, he deserves it. So go ahead and swipe up. <laughs> swipe up. <laughs> what social media platform am I on? My bad. Hey, it's been a long day. I'm trying to finish up this project. Um, we're going to have it linked up above. There's a little little button right here somewhere. Hit that. Sign into your Facebook and vote for him. Super good dude. You guys won't regret it. Let's get this car displayed properly at SEMA. Let's give it the credit that it deserves. It's a Subaru. It's a 2015 STI. Yada, yada, yada. Cool stuff. You guys will like it. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. We're obviously, we're like 5,000 away. So we're super close. Um, if you guys are not signed up to win the, the free car wrap, make sure you go down to also another link below that says win this free car wrap and uh, you'll be entered. All you got to do is subscribe to our newsletter and you're, you're on. But um, yeah. at this point now, there's like 15,000 people that have actually signed up for it. So it's not that I mean, the odds are, are definitely not super crazy. Out of 15,000 people, one of you guys is going to get the wrap. And uh, we also have details about our next giveaway. As soon as we hit the 100K, we're going to announce the next giveaway, which I think is going to be just as cool. So hope you guys are excited about that. Thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. We'll see you guys in the next one.